Dear Jeff and Amanda, here's how you're going to rediscover Auckland. We're starting out west, a small group tour. Kaylee and her team will take you out to the Waitakere Ranges. Amazing views from the visitor centre, Karakare Falls and the wondrous Pier Beach. Be sure to bring the camera. Next you'll head up to Matakana. You wouldn't want to miss the wineries up here. Ransom Wines is a must. Their Pinot Gris is a winner. Then try the Chorizo at Brick Bay for lunch and walk their sculpture trail. Don't forget we've also booked the Mahurangi Oyster Tour. Andrew and Lisa will look after your taste buds well here. For something sweeter, chocolate brown will excite your inner child. The kauri trees are a must-see too. Waiheke Island is possibly the jewel in the crown of Auckland. Arrive via seaplane and enjoy some of the finest wineries in the world. Mudbrick, Cable Bay and Stony Ridge all boast robust wine and stunning views. Auckland has many inactive volcanoes. Rangitoto is the biggest. Ferry it across, it's worth exploring. Now to get the wind really running through your hair, soak up the sun with the America's Cup sailing experience. After that, we'll take it down a notch. The Auckland Art Gallery itself is a piece of art, winner of hundreds of architecture awards. Now there's plenty of time for shopping through Ponsonby, grab a bite in Britomart, Ortolano's great. Then you can stroll through the Wynyard Quarter to the harbour-hugging Sofitel, where you're staying, of course. I think you're set to go. Have fun. See you soon. I can't wait to hear all about it.